There's a few brand new Nintendo Switch stories that just dropped today that I want to share with you all, starting with the fact that we have a very rare sale actually going on on the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller for Cyber Monday. And if you are someone who has been waiting to pick this up, now might be a time to take a look. Then I also want to share with you guys the big news that came out that suggests that we are right around the corner from potentially the final update for Smash Ultimate, as that game has had a long history of continued updates, but this one could be signaling the end. Then the big talking point for today video is the reason that Breath of the Wild 2 is trending right now online and where these rumors are stemming from that we should expect some kind of gameplay reveal or title reveal to take place for this game at the Game Awards 2021. What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunbro Nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned, guys, we're covering a few different stories today, and I want to start it off with a surprise announcement from Nintendo that dropped today that officially confirms that they are selling the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, which regularly retails at $70 here in the US at $20 off, so it is at all major retailers and even Nintendo's own store right now selling at $49.99 and due to the rarity of a discount on that controller I thought it would be worth mentioning for any of you that are maybe out there waiting to pick one up as this is a very nice overall controller for most games to be played very easily on the Switch and the HD rumble is supported and of course you have the ability to also use your amiibos with it directly so you definitely do get some extra features with this type of controller that we don't always see included in the third party ones and if you are somebody who wants to look into third party definitely check out power a as well as i know they are doing a lot of different discounts some of which for sure in the uk they're doing like 50 percent off of most all their controllers i haven't been able to confirm if that's also going on here in the us but if you do like the power a controllers that will be worth looking at as well and i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you've picked up a nintendo switch pro controller or if this maybe is the sale that will make you actually take a look into it and also so bonus question, what other Cyber Monday Nintendo Switch related deals are you trying to get today or as we go through the rest of this week as really Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the whole week leading into December and then Christmas season as a whole tends to all bleed together now. So I would love to hear what you guys are trying to lock down on discount before the end of the holiday season. So share that with me in the comments down below. Now, the next thing we're talking about today is the reason that Smash Ultimate is in the news, and it is around the fact that we have a Nintendo account actually tweeting out that we can expect the final fighter adjustment update to be right around the corner. And while we don't have the specific patch notes, the reason I thought it was kind of notable is that they did go out of their way to say it would be the final adjustment to these fighters. And of course, that is putting a bow on a very long supported game that is very loved by all fans, including myself. And of course, we recently had the send off for the final DLC character being Sora and it does appear that with the word final being in the headline that this may indeed be the last update for Smash Ultimate or of course we could see patches and fixes and different things come down the line but regardless it's a bittersweet thing to see in the headlines as you know we have no clue when we might get the next Smash Bros and obviously this was one of the long supported titles on the Nintendo Switch that had all of us Nintendo fans looking forward to every direct for every new character reveal and a great reason to go back and boot up the game and play with your friends again whether it's local or online so with all that said we don't know what this update will actually fully entail other than the final fighter adjustments but we can expect this to most likely be around the corner and of course we will probably cover it here on the channel with the full patch notes once we actually know what's really been adjusted but i would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below how you feel about smash ultimate officially being wrapped up what you thought about again the final send off character which was Sora which I actually thought was a very fitting character to send off the series as it's just a major collaboration and a major deal to actually pull off that said I hope that whatever the future Smash games entail that maybe we get Waluigi added in one day as I really did want to see him added into the roster just because he doesn't get the love he deserves and I love him as a character but that's neither here nor there share with me all your opinions on what you want to see from the future of Smash and what you thought overall with how Nintendo supported this game and all also, if you think that we may get another Smash Bros in the future, or if you really think that Smash Bros Ultimate may be what it's called, which is the Ultimate Smash, and we don't get the series going forward. So I would love to hear from you guys on all things Smash Bros Ultimate in the comments down below.
Now, the last thing we're talking about today is the reason that Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 or the sequel to Breath of the Wild, you can call it whichever you want, because obviously we don't have the official title for the game yet, has been trending online on Twitter. And, you know, obviously there's a ton of content creators out there that cover news stories like this, including myself. And to start off this story, the reason it is in the news and that there is so much discussion happening online all of a sudden is yesterday, Jeff Keighley actually made a tweet stating that there was a world premiere around the corner at the Game Awards 2021 that he has been working on for over two and a half years. And what did all of the fans immediately think when they heard two and a half years? Well, that is obviously the same window that we saw the reveal for the Breath of the Wild sequel originally, which could lead you to believe that maybe that is the big hype trailer that he is teasing. And he even goes out of his way to say how he had a global travel trip that year with different gaming companies, leading people to speculate that maybe he's in Japan talking with the Zelda team themselves about doing this kind of reveal at the Game Awards. And you also have to look at the history of how Zelda Breath of the Wild specifically has been featured multiple times at the Game Awards as not only did it win a Game Award, it also revealed the Champion the Ballad DLC and they even had a gameplay reveal for Breath of the Wild. So they Nintendo definitely has a history and there's a lot of reason to speculate. And to start off the story, I do want to hop over to Nintendo Life where they have a nice little article put together with all of the details and the reasons why a lot of fans are expecting this title to indeed be Breath of the Wild 2. The Game Awards has a world premiere it's been working on with a dev for 2.5 years and one guess is Zelda. Zelda has a Game Awards history. The Game Awards are just around the corner and a number of Nintendo titles across multiple categories are in the running to win awards. Perhaps the highlight of the lot is Metroid Dread which is up for Game of the Year. The show isn't just about awards though, it's also about the announcements and once again host and organizer Jeff Keighley is drumming up excitement on social media about what's to come. In his latest post on Twitter, he teases a world premiere the team has been working on with a developer for 2.5 years. The exact tweet reads as follows, just saw the final cut of a hashtag the game awards world premiere we have been working on with a developer for 2.5 years. Truly honored we are entrusted to share this work with the world. As can be seen below, a number of Zelda fans have noted how the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was announced around 2.5 years ago. While some have their doubts it would be this game as its titled World Premiere, it's also been noted how the Game Awards has done world premieres for games that have already been shown before. And keep in mind, there's still no official title for this new Zelda game. Earlier this year, Nintendo even said it was holding back on the name to avoid revealing too much and told fans to stay tuned. So while I do think that if you look at history and you look at the timing of Jeff Keighley's tweet here, that there are some high chances that maybe he could be referencing Breath of the Wild 2, it is by no means confirmed by this tweet. And I want to make that clear for all the Zelda fans out there, including myself, which I will be blown away if we get this at the Game Awards. And I do think that we're going to see Zelda related content drop at the Game Awards, as I've made a couple previous videos that are on the channel here recently that you guys can go check out to get the full details on that. But I definitely think we get Zelda announcements here. Now, what kind of announcements? That's all up for debate and speculation. And I would just say to go into it with lower expectations to be on the safe side, as Jeff Keighley could be easily talking about a title that's in development for any other company as well, such as, you know, there's been a lot of talk online about maybe it being like the Hellblade 2 sequel, which of course we haven't seen anything for in about the same amount of time. It could be some major Sony game easily, maybe God of War Ragnarok, although I don't know that that perfectly lines up but you never know with things behind the scenes. Hollow Knight Silk Song is another one that even though it is more in an indie title type of category, it definitely has mainstream draw. And then we could also maybe, and I don't want to get my hopes up for this at all, but maybe get something like the Metroid Prime 4 gameplay trailer, or maybe something like the Metroid Prime remake reveal, which we, according to multiple leaks and rumors online, can I maybe expect that to actually drop as soon as 2022 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of that game. So all of that said, I want to put that out there as kind of a warning. Don't go into this event with full expectations that we are going to for sure see this Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild gameplay and title reveal. I do think that there's a solid chance we're getting good Zelda information there, and I hope it is Breath of the Wild 2. Or really, if I'm being totally honest, I really hope more than anything that we actually get the blowout 35th anniversary Zelda celebration that we all have been waiting for, and that Nintendo throws a total curveball and gives us Wind Waker and Twilight 
Twilight Princess HD on the Switch in a combo pack, but I'm not going to go into this event expecting that to be fact and to, you know, get disappointed if it doesn't happen. I'm just going to be excited to watch and see what reveals we ultimately get, and hopefully Zelda has a big presence at this event at the end of the day. But guys, at this point in the video, I really want to hear all your thoughts and opinions on what you think Jeff Keighley is teasing here. Do you think that it is, in fact, Breath of the Wild 2 trailer? Maybe it's gameplay reveal. Maybe it is something like a title reveal. Or do you think that this is clearly something else and that it just doesn't line up correctly like a lot of people are speculating online? And bonus question, what is your number one Zelda related or Nintendo Switch related announcement that you would like to see actually dropped at the Game Awards 2021? So make sure you share all your thoughts and opinions on all the things we talked about today as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics. Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join Sunbro Nation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below, hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Sunbro Nation, out.